Oh, I love, I love the Royal Exchange. I think it's the most extraordinary space. That implausible lunar landing module somehow touched down in the middle of the old cotton exchange. I think it's, it's, it's beautiful, and, and the space itself is so much fun to play. I was lucky enough to do a production of King Lear um, in 2016, and one of my fondest memories is is being on that stage playing um, the scene towards towards the end of the play where I, I played Edgar and Edgar um, disguises himself he's basically on the run and ends up leading his dad who, who thinks that, um, that Edgar was trying to kill him so Edgar and Gloucester the father end up together Edgar's still in disguise and that's helped by the fact that Gloucester's had his eyes plucked out so Gloucester's blind and Gloucester asks to be led to the edge of a cliff he wants to end his life um, and Edgar takes him to the middle of a field and puts on a play for him I guess does some theatre and convinces him that he's at the top of this enormous cliff um, and Gloucester proceeds to, or so he thinks, throw himself off. And then Edgar takes the guise of another person at the bottom of the cliff and convinces Gloucester by doing so that he has fallen um, from this extraordinary height and been miraculously saved. Um, it's such a beautiful scene, but doing it in the Royal Exchange, in the round, with 700 people, um, none of whom are ever sort of further than 10 or so meters away from you. It's sort of, it has a kind of epic scope, but it's beautifully intimate. Just made it all the more special. It was just such a, it was such a joy to play every night. And uh, the actor who played Gloucester, beautiful actor called Phil Witchurch, was just a, a pleasure to do it with. Um, but it's just a very, very, very fond, um, fond memory stays with me it's an incredible place so he is sending the exchange and uh, everyone who works there much love many congratulations on making this master happy 45th birthday